Hey everyone, Alex at Stratified here, and here's a long-awaited update on our B8 and a half S4. Right, you you probably don't even remember we have this car in development, and uh, we do, and we've just been so busy lately that we haven't had a chance to really delve into it. We've had our tune on there via HP tuners for quite some time, well over a year. We've put it through many seasons, its paces, and it's all worked really, really well. So now, uh, what's the next step? Well, this is, uh, hardware-wise, pretty much a stock car. We do have our intake uh, on there with a Canon filter, stock airbox, and we do have a set of downpipes. Um, but that is it. So really, the big power from this car will come from two sources. One, increasing the boost level, and two, increasing the octane. To increase the octane, we're going to be looking at some E85 here shortly, but uh, it's time to give it a little bit more boost. And uh, in the world of superchargers, such as what this car has, then uh, what we need to do is we need to drive or change how hard we drive or how fast we drive these superchargers. And uh, there's a supercharger right there on the car, it sits right on top of the engine, and you've got two pulleys. You've got this pulley up top here, and then you've got the uh, main pulley that is right there, the crank, right on the crank. So this creates your pulley ratio, and this determines what speed your supercharger goes with respect to your engine RPM. Now, uh, there's a few steps here. So first of all, uh, you can change one or, the, or both of the pulleys. We're going to start with one. We're gonna start with the top pulley here uh, on the nose of the supercharger. And we actually have that pulley right now getting ready to be installed. It is uh, cooking, there you go. It's cooking in the toaster oven. Why? Because it, ours is a press fit. Uh, pulley and that means that we have to get it really nice and warm when we pull the OEM on off the car uh, That pulley has to slide on and then it will shrink once it gets cold and um, Make a tight slip free fit on the nose of the supercharger So we'll go the, that pulley first and then we're going to move on and do the crank pulley as well uh, we're still looking at what the best option for crank pulley is, whether we're going to keep the OEM dampened pulley and put something on the top of it, such as the uh, integrated engineering option, whether we're going to replace it with a CTS uh, style where you replace the pulley entirely, or whether we're going to go with a fluid dampener and again, an overdrive pulley over top of the dampener. But to go along with more boost, uh, just like in the turbocharger world, you want to have more uh, cooling. So the turbocharger, sorry, the supercharger here is uh, cooled via two cores that you can see the piping here on this side and on this side. So these are two cores that are built into the supercharger casing itself and they are liquid cooled. These are coolant lines and uh, the liquid is actually stored in the same reservoir uh, as the OEM uh, coolant. Uh, there are kits out there that basically divorce the system completely from the supercharger. We're not, we're not going to do that right off the bat. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, we always have the option to divorce it later on, and the, the coolant in here is, is the coolest you're gonna get uh, in the engine overall. So we're gonna have a look at our temperatures and see whether or not we need to divorce the system uh, or not. And uh, the, the cooling between the air that is pressurized by a supercharger and entering uh, the engine through the manifold is done on one of these two cores or both of these two cores simultaneously. And then that hot air that is uh, passing its, its heat energy into the coolant itself is then going to be cooled by air via this uh, cooler up front. So uh, the B8.5 has a dual pass cooler, a, sing a single one uh, up in the front of the car. Uh, the B8 had a secondary cooler that was sitting in this position here. Uh, you can even retrofit the B8 to have two coolers uh, in place. And then finally, there is a separate pump that drives uh, the coolant through these two uh, or through the, through the cooler itself, and it is right here. And what we're going to do is that we're going to remove this uh, entirely and we're going to replace it with a much larger unit. And this much larger unit has uh, more cooling capacity, more um, surface area to cool the, uh, 
the coolant itself and we should see a nice improvement in cooling capacity and therefore we'll be able to sustain the higher boost levels that will be running via the upgraded downsides supercharger pulley. So from here on out we'll make these hardware changes and we'll go back to, uh, to tuning. So stay tuned and we'll keep you guys posted.